Hello dear student. Today we will talk about the very important chapter of a grammar. Actually this chapter is very important for us to learn the language, to improve our language or we can say that to make our language rich. The chapter name is kinds of phrases. Phrases are very important for the language. When we include the phrase in language at that time, it becomes very rich and wealthy as well. So let's know about the phrases that exactly what the what is the meaning of the phrase and it's a kinds of phrase also. So let's talk about the phrase what first phrase the meaning is. A phrase is a group of words which does not contain a subject and a verb. It means what? The phrase does not have a subject. If you see the phrase example that is given full of money in front of in that there is no subject like I, we, you, he, she, it. The subjects are not there. Then the verb one. The verb like action words are not seen there. Sometimes you may find some verbs in the phrases but they can be called as verbial phrases. Okay. But most of time we find the phrases without verb only. Now look at this some example there. Verb do not consist in the following phrases like full of money, in front of, at sunset and the playing field. Now in this the verbs are not seen, the subject is not seen and the meaning of these phrases is completely different than the actual meaning what we have it. Example like just we can see the example number 2, pull your socks up. Now here when you say that pull your socks up, it doesn't mean that you have to act physically to pull your socks up. The meaning of this phrase is to improve your behavior. So the actual meaning of the phrase pull your socks up is quite different than the meaning as a phrase. I hope the phrase meaning and the identification of it is clear to you all. Now let's discuss about the kinds of phrases. There are three kinds of phrases. The very first we have adjective phrase, then we have adverb phrase and the third we have noun phrase. So first of all we will discuss about adjective phrase and after that we will look for the another two. Now if you look at the adjective phrase, look at the word adjective first. We know very common, we know it very commonly that the adjective is a word that qualifies noun. Okay, what is adjective? Commonly we know that it is qualifying a noun. Okay, so a phrase which does the work of an adjective, a phrase which does the work of an adjective is an adjective phrase. So suppose if there is a phrase and that is describing the noun, it is called an adjective phrase. Now we have some example here. The books on the shelves are for sell. Now here the book is subject and the book is noun here. And if I ask you that where are the books? So the, you get the answer there on the shelves. Now on the shelves is the phrase that is adjective phrase because it is describing the book. Are you getting it? It is describing the book that how the book is and where the books are kept. So for that purpose it becomes adjective phrase. If you look for the second example, we saw a bird with beautiful feathers. Now here, beautiful feathers describing the bird. If I ask you the question that how is a bird, so you will get the answer that the bird has beautiful feathers. So that beautiful feather, a group of words describing the bird that how the bird is looking. And that's a quality of particular bird and hence in this way we identify the particular adjective phrases okay now here i have some so among one more example of adjective phrase you can see that she had extremely menacing eyes now here menacing means were well, dangerous and uh, dreadful we can say so extremely menacing means what here it is describing the eyes noun how the eyes are there for the girl and how are the eyes how they are looking so this adjective phrase is modifying the noun eyes. You got that? And due to that reason, it becomes extremely menacing and that is adjective phrase. Okay. Look at the second example. The dog cover in mud is mine. Now, if you look at the phrase cover in mud. Now, what is cover in mud? If you ask a question, you will get the answer. The dog. So the dog is noun here and the adjective phrase cover in mud is modifying the noun the dog. Okay, so this is also the example of adjective phrases 
remember that the noun is plus before the phrase or even after the phrase also but it is describing the noun that is the major idea to identify adjective phrase now let's go for a second part that is adverb phrase adverb phrase does the work of adverb only example like if you know the adverb adverb is qualifying the verb adverb qualifies verb and for that purpose whatever the words are used that describing the verb here will be called as adverb phrases okay example a we have that the play will begin in about an hour so here if you look at the underline word in about an hour it is talking about how that what will happen in about an hour the play will begin it is focusing on the beginning action and for that purpose in describing the verb begin it becomes adverb phrases are you getting it and if you look at the second example you can get this book in all the bookshop what will happen in all the bookshop you can get the book so getting is the action that you get the book but where you will get it in all the bookshop so that is describing more about the get verb and for that become it for that purpose it becomes the adverb phrase only okay let's look at for the second one more example about the adverb phrase now baseball has become very popular in our town now in our town what has happened become has become popular this is the action and that is described by the phrase in our town becomes adverb phrase where it has become the question asking where an answer can be like the flowers will bloom will bloom in spring now it is describing the action where it will happen so in spring it will happen that the flowers will bloom action will is described here by the word in spring and that's why it becomes adverb phrase if you look at the third example helen did not go to school on account of the bad weather now bad weather is also adverb phrase gives you reason that why she has not attended school so here did not go to school is a action going is action and on account of the bad weather is a phrase if you look at the next example my brother's brother spoke in an condensing manner okay now in this say what we observe that spoke is the action described by the phrase adverb phrase and he is describing the how it has happened and if you look at the fifth example for many years she has been waiting for this opportunity for many years to what extent she was waiting for the action waiting has been described by adverb phrase here for many years okay so just note the point like where when why how and to what extent the particular action has happened that is described by the phrases here and that's what we observe it as adverb phrases i got that now let's go for the next example that is noun phrases now noun phrase is another type of phrase if you look at the first example adjective phrase describe noun if you look at the second phrase adverb phrase describe the verb but third one noun phrase is not describing any phrase it is just carrying the noun itself okay a phrase which does the work of a noun or which has a noun is called as noun phrase we have the example here eating junk food is not a good is not good for health now here eating junk food is what here eating is also verb but is working here as a gerund or we can say that noun also so this all three are noun group of noun and for that purpose it is framing a noun phrase and eating junk food become subject here because is is the verb here are you getting it so for that purpose it becomes noun phrase if you look at the second example mother made a cake with lots of chocolate and cream now here chocolate and cream again both are noun so hence it is it is not describing the action not even noun becomes noun phrase so the in short what we can say that noun phrase is not carrying not describing any verb any adjective but is carrying noun itself that is the very important point and this picture i think this image will explain you more about that look at the example here the young man again the group of noun only young man both are noun so it is also example of noun phrase the old dog is also example of noun phrase and a bone as well is a noun phrase so if you found some nouns coming together they form a noun phrase look at the second example like pretty girls whisper softly so pretty girl 
girls is also both words are also example of noun phrase and also they are forming as a noun phrase as well working as a noun only we can say so this is the way that we found uh, identify most of the phrases one is the adjective phrase the adverb phrase and noun phrase i hope you have got with the concept and it will be clear to you you can watch this video again again to clear the concept of your adjective adverb and noun phrase and the next examples of this phrase will look into another video thank you so much